for the ninth time. I gotta get this right this time. Welcome back to the channel, Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time being on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below, I'd appreciate. A lot of people are asking me why they have another channel, just as a backup plan, just in case, because I had a few upload issues last night, so that's the reason why. Let's talk about days of my eight in Southampton. Is he really gonna go to Southampton? He's one year into his deal, he's four years left, and he seems happy in Glasgow. He's quite content. He's on form at the moment, scoring the Glasgow Derby the other day. Six goals all season, four assists, and he's, he had a really good shift against Rangers. He's done well in the World Cup as well for Japan, getting to the latter stages of the World Cup, getting beaten by Croatia. So Hampton are fighting for relegation at the moment. They had a couple of Japanese players on the roster over the last few years. Is it a case that he's going to go there? To be brutally honest, the reports are from Football Scotland. Football Scotland about a 50% conversion rate on the stories and I can't see him going there. He's worked on the hands of Yokohama. One of his best pals, Tomoki, is going to be joining him at Celtic. There's another Japanese boy in there, Kawabashi, as well. I think the Japanese contingency is, is getting stronger at Celtic. Some people don't like that from the opposite clubs, but they can they can deal with it. They can deal with it because once they scored against them at Oibrox, they can shove their fingers up at us. They can mock us all they want. They can call them whatever they want. But, you know, actions speak louder than words. And, you know, top of the league. Congratulations to Koyogo as well for winning Player of the Month for December. He had an outstanding... I can't believe Ange didn't win it. Well, suppose, you know, a new manager comes in, steers the team to four wins in a row, still doesn't have them top of the league and still has them nine points behind. How does that work? Like, how does that really work? So... If you're going to put a price tag on Moyeda, to be brutally honest, which is looking about 15 million, he's going to go nowhere. He's staying. So Hampton were fishing about for Lee Alabada three weeks ago, and nothing happened from that. So the reports that Southampton scouts are going to be up tomorrow to watch the game at Celtic Park against Samaritan, I don't believe it. You know, there's still talks of Chao Guisong coming to Celtic. There's still talks of Yakimak is going out. I don't think we're going to see any developments for the next three weeks. I will still talk about it on a regular basis on the channel until we get something more concrete. But that's really it for me. Enjoy the airport clip. See you all soon. Hell, hell.